Standing backstage here at Pasadena Convention Center here in Pasadena, Texas with the hardcore legend, Tommy Dreamer. Tommy, I wanted to ask you, you've got House of Hardcore coming up. It's now on the Fight Network television. Can you tell the fans about that? It was a great opportunity. Uh, they basically gave me first eight weeks of TV, but because of social media and how receptive uh, the show was, they gave me 10 weeks to promote my show, which is July 18th. And uh, it's been really good. It's actually the largest grossing House of Hardcore show uh, biggest advance we got. We almost got over a thousand people already in. So I'm really, really excited to uh, show my vision of professional wrestling to all the fans. And about your vision, I wanted to see if you could explain it's that. It's crazy. Bit. You don't even want to talk about my vision. My vision is this no politics, no BS, just wrestling. That's what me as a wrestling fan wants to see. I go to every single independent show. I listen to what the fans want, as well as social media. Hell, social media changed the main event of WrestleMania. So when I go out there as promoter slash booker, I want to give the fans the best show that they possibly have. And my greatest memories of my entire life have been based upon professional wrestling. I can remember sitting with my dad in the Meadowlands in New Jersey and watching Ric Flair and Ricky Steamboat go 45 minutes. I was at WrestleMania 1. I know all those special events and I want when people come to wrestling, my House of Hardcore shows, to be just like that. A special event where they say, wow, I got the most amount of entertainment for my dollar. It's, it's promotion, it's right talent. I know uh, for myself, for instance, and a lot of times I go to indie shows, you'll see a lot of guys who shouldn't be in the ring, but because they sold tickets, uh, that hurts your show. If you look at it from a sports level, baseball, everybody from top of the order to bottom of the order is in the major leagues for a reason, because they can play major league baseball. Uh, I think that's one reason. Also, with me, I've had a great rapport with the fans, uh, with from writing pay-per-views from ECW, living to stipulations, and again, they've all kind of seen what myself went through, and again, like I said, through social media, it's all changed, and I, and I want the fans to get the most for their money, and they know they're not gonna see any crappy matches, and if there is a crappy match, I'll tell them, hey, it sucked, but so far I haven't had that problem. So, and that's kind of been my formula, and I've also, I mean, there's a lot of successful independents out there that I've been to where they get their continued crowd, but I always want my crowd to grow, so that's kind of how I look at things. What House of Hardcore is uh, bringing to the table, for me, it was funny, you know, Monday nights was always Monday Night Raw, leave it alone, uh, it's good. Tuesday nights, I was asked to pick a date, I said, hey, Tuesday, there's nothing on Tuesdays. Boom, tough enough, total divas. Thanks, Vince, don't think, I didn't think that was personal. Wednesdays, I don't get where I live, Lucha Underground, I get it on Saturdays, so that was cool. Uh, TNA's times have fluctuated, now that Ring of Honor's there. Dude, when I grew up, there was Saturdays. I used to lock myself pretty much in my den because I grew up watching, I had cable. From eight o'clock till about 12 o'clock, I watched every single channel. I think it's great for the business. I think it's great YouTube. Uh, I think any independent promotion that puts their stuff out there, anybody could see it. Again, social media, hey, if Tommy Dreamer just farted, guess what, you're gonna fucking read about it somewhere. So it's kind of a, I think it's great as a wrestling fan because I want variety. You know, I remember growing up and seeing American Dream, Dusty Rhodes is where I got hooked on being a professional wrestler because I lived up in New York. And I was like, oh, there's somebody different than a Bob Backlund and what I was getting in WWE. And then once I got cable television, my world exploded. And I mean, I had world-class UWF, Puerto Rico. I had everything. So, I mean, I, I think it's great. And is there anything else you want to say to the fans out there? Where can they find Tommy Dreamer? Tommy Dreamer is very, very active on social media at The Tommy Dreamer. Uh, Instagram, The Tommy Dreamer. Facebook, The Tommy Dreamer. There's an imposter Facebook of Tommy Dreamer, but he has more friends than the real Tommy Dreamer, so screw him and come to the real The Tommy Dreamer. That's it, man. Uh, appreciate it.